In order to protect against traffic pattern analysis, Tetra provides an identity encryption scheme which transforms plaintext subscriber identities into pseudonymous versions. However, as part of our research into Tetra security, we uncovered that TA61, the primitive responsible for identity encryption, suffers from an easily exploitable weakness allowing attackers to instantly de-anonymize Tetra traffic. The attacker needs to identify three pairs of identities with their encrypted equivalents. These can be obtained by observing unencrypted authentications, in which both a user's encrypted and unencrypted identity are used. This can be done fully passively. By analyzing which key fits the observed identity pairs, the attacker may recover an identity encryption key in about two minutes on a five-year-old laptop. Using this key, an attacker can now instantly decrypt identities and use them for subsequent analysis. For example, an attacker could use this to correlate subscriber identity ranges to specific user groups, such as undercover police or special intervention units, and build a powerful counterintelligence and early warning capability. While this issue cannot be resolved by a firmware upgrade, it is addressed in the new, non-backwards compatible Tetra Algorithm Set B.